Hi, welcome to St. Kate's. I'm Anita, I'm a public health major here at St. Kate's and I'm from North St. Paul, Minnesota. And my name is Erica, I'm a healthcare sales major here at St. Kate's and I'm from Stillwater, Minnesota. And we're really excited to show you around. This building is Durham Hall. Durham Hall was built in 1905 and served as the first building here on campus. Today, Durham Hall serves as our administrative building. It houses our admission counselor offices, the president's office, human resources, and also global studies. Let's head over to Whitby Hall. Whitby Hall was the second building that was built here on campus. For a very long time, it was referred to as the other building because we weren't quite sure what to name it. Today, Whitby houses all of our humanities courses, such as English, theology, and philosophy, and it also houses our nursing department, sonography department, and our physician assistant program. The next building we're going to take a look at is the Catherine G. Murphy Gallery. It is home to all of our art programs here at St. Kate's. Students can take a variety of different art courses, ranging from ceramics, painting, and drawing. As you can see here, there are students hanging out in the gallery. We have two galleries within this building, and they try to change out the different pieces two to three times a semester. The next building we're going to head into is Mendel Hall. Mendel is home to all of our STEM courses, science, technology, engineering, and math. Mendel Hall was very strategically placed here on campus. The city of St. Paul was constructing Prior Avenue, and they wanted to place it right through campus. But Mother Antonia, the first dean and president, did not want to have any public roads coming through campus. In order to stop the road from being built through campus, Mother Antonia had construction workers begin to lay the foundation in order to stop the city from building the road through St. Kate's. Check out this iconic photo of students hanging out in Mendel Hall right where Pryor Avenue was supposed to cut through campus. St. Kate's average class size is 17 to 20 students and we have a 12 to 1 student to professor ratio. St. Kate's values a very small class size and we also apply that into our science courses. For every lab that St. Kate's has, it is always capped at 20 students. St. Kate's is also a part of the Associated Colleges of the Twin Cities. This is where students at St. Kate's can go and take classes at different universities, as well as students from different universities can come and take classes at St. Kate's. Some of the universities include Hamlin, St. Thomas, McAllister, and Augsburg. The next building is the Fry Theater. The Fry Theater is our small black box theater here on campus. It houses an intimate amount of people and has two productions per year. The next building is the O'Shaughnessy Theater. This is our larger theater here on campus that houses about 1,800 people. Our opening ceremony and our graduation ceremony are both held here every single year. Students at St. Kate's get discounted tickets to events at the O'Shaughnessy. The O'Shaughnessy houses different singers, guest speakers, and ballets throughout the year. Next, let's head over to Fon Fon Hall. As you can see, we are walking through the quad. Fon Fon Hall has one of the best stories here on campus. Mother Antonia, the first dean and president here, had an architect designing this building, but she didn't like his design, so she fired him and hired two of the sisters to complete it. When they couldn't agree what they wanted either, she told both of the sisters they could have their way. She had the construction workers build a wall down the middle and each sister could have whatever design they pleased. Fon Fon Hall is home to the public health, social work, fashion design, business administration, and nutrition departments. Let's go ahead and head over to the Butler Center. The Butler Center is our gym facility here on campus. The Butler Center has many great features. The first feature that I want to point out is the study spaces that are available to students. These are open to anybody. The next feature is the pool. The pool is also open to everybody and we have open swim time. Next is the traditional gym. This is where basketball and volleyball games take place, but this is also open for students to utilize when games or practice aren't taking place. 
Here we have the traditional cardio room. This has many different machines for students to utilize. Next to the cardio room is the group fitness studio. This is an open aerobic space for students to utilize, and we also have different classes that take place in here. Some of the different classes that we offer are yoga and Zumba. Here is the weight room. We have free weights and machine weights available for students. And finally, here is the last room in the Butler Center. This is our open gym. St. Kate's has 12 different Division III sports and also intramural sports offered for students. Don't forget to cheer on your favorite Katie's. Let's head over to one of the first year residence halls. St. Mary's Hall is the largest first year residence hall on campus. The building houses a total of 200 girls every year. On every floor of St. Mary's Hall, there is a lounge space, laundry room, trash room, and bathroom. Welcome to a first year dorm here at St. Kate's. You and one other student will share this space and each roommate gets their own half of everything. Check out this awesome view. Incoming St. Kate students can find their roommates by joining their incoming classes Facebook page. Ask an admissions counselor to learn more. Students who are interested in living on one of our living learning community floors can choose anything from our American Sign Language floor, Harry Potter floor, the STEM floor, healthy eating floor, and many more. St. Mary's Hall is just one of our nine residence halls on campus. To see more about our residence halls, visit our St. Kate's housing page. Check out these students hanging out in the main lounge in St. Mary's Hall. Some of the benefits of living on campus include meeting new friends, leadership opportunities, and also being really close to all of your classes. Let's head over to the Corps de Catherine, or otherwise referred to as the CDC. The CDC is the main student center here on campus. Let's check out the library. Inside the library, you can see right away that there is the checkout desk, but also within the library, we have our tech hub, a research help desk, and lots of room for students to spread out and study. Next, we'll head into the traditional cafeteria. The CAF has many options for students to choose from. We have our classic area over here. Next, we have our allergen-free area. And then over in the corner here, we have our stir fry area. And then we have our sushi chef who is here Monday through Friday, our drinks and desserts, and then you check out. The second place where students can grab food from is called The Pulse. The Pulse has more of a cafe slash bistro feel to it, and they have pizza, pasta, and sandwiches, and it is also where we serve Starbucks. We have a select Starbucks drink menu where our baristas can make things fresh for us. On the second floor of the CDC, we have the post office. Every student gets their own mailbox and you can send and receive mail here. Over here, we have the marketplace. This is like a gas station without the gas. It has grab and go food items, chips, candy, feminine products, shampoo, conditioner, anything you would ever need. Over here, we have the bookstore. As a St. Kate student, all of our books are available here to buy or rent depending on the book and the previous usage. This is also where you can get all of your Katie gear. And then we have a more informal lounge space that overlooks the quad. Next, we're coming up on the MIPS office. This is our multicultural and international programs and services for our students. They host different awareness events such as cornbread and chili night or international potlucks. Next, we're coming up on the FCA office and the Information Center. The FCA office is our student center for activities and they help plan all of our events throughout the year. The Information Center is also a great resource for students on campus. You can rent out art supplies, rent out games, and bring them down to the Pulse. You can get a discounted bus pass, discounted movie pass, and much, much more. Then over here, we're going to head to a very helpful hallway in the Corps de Catherine. Down the hallway is our Money Management Office, the Career Development Center, and also the Center for Women. The Career Development Center can help you with anything related to finding a career. They can help you with internships, mock interviews, and also building your resume. The Center for Women's Research 
resources, and scholarships at St. Kate's works to build a community of faculty and student scholars and activists working together on issues of race, class, and gender. They gather and share resources relating to these issues and highlight the leadership and work of women at the university and in various communities. Now we're going to head over to the chapel. The Our Lady of Victory Chapel is a very important part of St. Kate's history. Mother Antonia, the first dean and president, had wanted a very large French-inspired chapel. When the chapel was constructed in 1924, the Archbishop did not believe that we needed a worship space this large, but Mother Antonia had different plans. Even though St. Kate's only had about 400 students enrolled at the time, Mother Antonia knew that St. Kate's was going to be a very large university someday serving women. When the Archbishop took a sabbatical, Mother Antonia had the perfect plan to complete her French-inspired chapel. When the Archbishop arrived back from his sabbatical, he was in shock at the huge chapel that was on campus. He could not believe that Mother Antonia had built this while he was away. It is the Our Lady of Victory Chapel because Mother Antonia had won the victory and proved to the Archbishop that we needed something this significant and beautiful on campus. 26% of St. Kate's students affiliate themselves as Catholic or having a Catholic background. All St. Kate's students are required to take a theology course to count towards their core liberal arts requirements. Before we end the tour, I want to talk a little bit more about Highland Park. St. Kate's is conveniently located in between Minneapolis and St. Paul. The surrounding neighborhood is Highland Park. In Highland Park, which is just a quick three block walk from campus, you can find Target Express, a movie theater, different coffee shops, and lots of food options. Thank you for watching the St. Kate's virtual tour. We hope we can show you around on campus in the near future. Until then, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the admissions office.